Hello everyone, in this uh, video, I'll be talking about how do we write the uh, implication of the study in your research paper or even your dissertation. Now, first of all, we need to understand what are research implications. As the name suggests, implication, it means the impact of your findings, whether to the policy makers, to the practice, to the theory, or even anyone that are relevant in your scope of the study. So basically, it's answering how will your research affect the targeted community or area of study. So these are implications. But why do we need this section in the first place? Now, implication means you are kind of like doing a reflection of what you set out to study in the first place. It's like you uh, recall what you have uh, promised to achieve in your objective, what you have found, and whether or not this has changed over uh, your course of investigating or your during your period of researching this area of study. So it's like re-examining everything and it's always good to re-look at your significance of the study, whatever you have promised there, all the significance that you have mentioned, whether or not it has been achieved, whether or not uh, you have uh, a change of perspective to towards the significance that you have mentioned so there are two main types of implication one is called practical implication the other one is theoretical implication i think you can guess even from the name itself these are the two main branches of implication although some people may also uh, divide theoretical to a methodological implication where you talk about fo focusing on the methodology that you use in your study but it could also go under theoretical uh, implications right so for practical implication, it means the direct impact of your findings to the related practices or even to the relevant parties like stakeholders or policymakers, teachers, uh, your target group and, and all that, practitioners, things like that, right? One example would be if you're studying how uh, method A can improve uh, teaching and learning. Uh, so your practical implication would be whether your findings has informed people on how this method uh, could be useful for the teachers. So you are giving a practical implication to the teachers or the teaching practices. So for practical implication, there are a lot you can mention because it's based on your finding, how uh, your findings have uh, informed certain aspect of the variables uh, to the people that you are investigating. For example, if you are talking about HR practitioners, then whether or not your findings could inform them to make a better decision in recruiting, for example. If you are talking about um, scientific discovery, scientific uh, research, then how practical it is in formulating new uh, medical solution, for example. These are, these are more practical implications. So you have to relate to the findings and then mention the impact of those findings in terms of the practical sense. As for theoretical implication, it's the contribution or the impact on the theory itself. So this could come from uh, additional variables or construct that you, uh, you added to the original theory or even what you discovered from the limitation of your study. For example, you added a, a new variable on the theory A so that it could uh, cover a wider perspective. So you have to mention that the findings from your study actually inform people about how this theoretical framework could be improved or this theory could have looked into this area based on what you have found out from your study. So it's like what your studies have contributed to the understanding of this framework or even the theoretical foundation that you have chosen. Of course, you are not trying to change uh, the theory, but you are suggesting uh, people to look into this aspect after you have done it in your study. So basically, for theoretical implication is your contribution to the uh, theoretical part of your study. It could also be um, your way of merging certain theories. So these are the things that you can include under theoretical implication. So how do you write implications? Normally, it's written as an independent part of a research paper or even dissertation. It means you have a specific, you have a specific section for this. But most people will also merge it with future research. For example, implication for future research, or you can say implication of the study and recommendation for the future research thing like that. But either way, whether you combine or merge, it should begin with uh, what you found in your study, uh, which is different from what was found in the previous studies, in previous studies, and then uh, discuss the implication either in terms of practice or theory. So, 
So this is a sample of practical implication, as you can see uh, from the first line. There are a few possibilities of this explicit focus can be manifested in instruction. I mean, explicit focus here could be what was mentioned earlier about the studies uh, focus and manifested in instruction means how it can contribute to the understanding of teaching or uh, instruction. So in this case, instructors, so this is specific for instructors, for teachers on how to improve the, their class, classroom practices. So this is very practical because you are relating your outcome with something which is very practical to the teachers. Another one is theoretical uh, implication where you are talking about how it contributes to the theory. In this sample of theoretical implication, you can see how this study tried to show the difference between what was done in the previous study uh, and this study by looking at the framework that was chosen, which is the uh, problem solving uh, framework. It means is trying to contribute to the understanding of the framework or the theory chosen. So for theoretical implication, it's always good to relook at your significance of the study and see whether uh, those have been achieved and uh, related to your findings. Most importantly in the implication, it shows the impact of the study actually. So uh, you don't have to go like a lot of implication because if too many implication, it sounds too good to be true. So you might want to highlight the more dominant one from your findings. If you notice that your your find that your, your findings for objective one is strong, though, so you might want to highlight how your findings from this objective could uh, contribute in terms of uh, the impact on uh, either practice or the theory. Because usually implication would give some ideas on what to recommend for future research. So it is quite connected in that way. So I hope this video is useful uh, for you in understanding how implications are written. Uh, if you still have problems, you please feel free to ask me. And uh, well, most importantly is to look at what other people have written for their implication part and learn from those. And But the most important thing, as like I told you, imagine that implication is the part for you to market your research or to sell your research in a way to tell people how much have you contributed to uh, you know to the area of study whether in terms of whether in terms of practice or theory all right thank you very much